Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video. Sorry for the wait um, and the delay. Just been mega busy, not a chance to work on the van. Um, you know, real life gets in the way sometimes, unfortunately. Um, but I'm back with another one. I've got a lot to do in the next five weeks before I plan on taking this on a little road trip. So um, today I'm gonna fit a new exhaust. So this is the exhaust I've got here. Um, Hornet exhaust, just on eBay about 70 quid so it's a cat back exhaust mine's got a massive hole in the uh in the rear silencer so i'm going to drop that off from the cat put this on we're in the garage today because the weather's a bit unpredictable outside it keeps raining and um, so i'm going to come in here and do it in the dry so yeah we'll get get cracking get that fitted and i've also i've already done it um, i did an easy yard delete on this um a few weeks ago it needed it the egr valve was blowing um, so I'll show you what I did as well it's a pretty budget friendly option it didn't cost me anything at all um, you can buy blanking plates and stuff off, off eBay for like sort of 60 quid but it didn't cost me a thing so I'll, I'll run through and show you what I did with that as well first things first as always I need to get the van up in the air um, don't need to take the wheels off I might take the back wheels off actually just for more access but yeah I need to get the van up in the air and see how high I can get it get as much access under there as I can to um to fit the exhaust in the air that should give me enough access to get under there get the exhaust off um, the exhaust I bought comes with new sort of clamps so I'm not probably gonna mess around trying to undo the bolts on these if they're too rusted I'll just chop them straight off because I'm gonna replace them anyway um, comes off in two sections so there's one let me get a, let me get a light on it You've got one section there and that goes to the back and then you've got another section that runs through the centre of the vehicle and under just before the cat. So I'm going to take the back bit off first, remove that off and take the centre piece out. Save me trying to drag the whole thing out. That one snap straight off. That was pretty seized up. Step it up a notch. And we're off. That's what?
recurring theme with this van is rust obviously that is all that's just fell off just from them from that short burst of an impact so that how that's how much rust is just shut straight off that exhaust so yeah it really needs to come off and get swapped out all the clamps are off now so i'm going to try and pull that off from there hopefully it's not too stuck um pull the second bit off if worse comes to worse i might take a little slit cut a little slit down this lower section of pipe then i can compress that pipe i can get that one off i'm not bothered about cutting this apart so yeah as long as as long as the mat, the bracket down there stays in good not the bracket sorry as long as the end of the pipe coming off the cat stays good down there um i'm all right the rest of it i can cut straight off those hangers which are just there and there's one further down i'm going to absolutely spray them like mad in in some lubricant in the hopes that i can slide that off quite easily these are normally a bit of a bitch i have cut them off before but i haven't got any new ones at the minute so i'm just going to spray them like mad with some of that and hopefully i'll be able to slide them straight off again water pump plies work really well for this you can use one side to grip and the other side to pull just close them in a bit So there's one bit off, that's the back section done. Uh, I'm going to do the same down the bottom down there and then I'll compare it side to side with the new one I've got. To get this one off, what I'm going to do, let me uh, just mount the light somewhere. I'm going to just cut a slit in the pipe and that'll 
allow me to spread it open a bit and slide it off. I'm going to start here because um, I know that there's no piping beneath there so I'm going to start here and work my way in. members off before it impacts them because I don't want to smash any bolts these have been soaked in WD-40 for a little bit as well they're all coming off nicely so I'll make sure they all loosen off nice now we'll just fire them off with impact
on in it. It's off. So there they are next to each other, old versus new. You can see the difference down here. Straight pipe out. That's pretty much exactly the same. All the brackets line up nicely where they should. Here's the main reason for the replacement. So the tips are all corroded away. That's not really important, just visual. But look at the state of that hole. That is absolutely massive. So that wouldn't pass any sort of MOT. Um, not to mention the noise that it makes blowing out. So we've gone straight pipe out the back. It's a nice tucked under one, so it looks subtle. Because um, I've not, I've got a, I'm going to have a, a standard caddy rear bumper on this. So I'm not, I don't want any exhaust cut out holes or anything sticking out the bottom. I want to keep it look, looking subtle. So I'm going to get this on um, and I'll see how it sounds. It does come with um, new brackets. So the trick with this is just you're going to get the first pipe on, get a bracket on it, get it mocked up in place. Get the back pipe on, get a bracket on it, get it mocked up in place. Make sure you're happy with where it fits before you tighten anything down. Um, you know, get the angles right, make sure all the hangers are on, and then tighten up your your clamps. Bit of exhaust paste won't go amiss in there. It's not not essential because it's going to be a tight a tight seal, but if you put some paste where the joints are, that will just help keep it all glued together. Think about this heat shield because as you can see it's going to rattle on the exhaust so it's normally held in with so it's normally held in with some 10 mils obviously this one's gone there's one there that's clearly clearly gone there's one up there that's clearly gone so I'm probably going to just screw it down with some self tappers straight into the frame. Screw it there. Screw it near where, basically where it's supposed to be, just to keep that all part of the way, stop it from rattling against that. So I've secured the heat shield up. 
as you can see there, just with a couple of self tappers so it's not rattling on this part of the exhaust. Um, now all I need to do is fix the clamps to it. We've got one clamp, one clamp that goes on just here, and then obviously one down the bottom where I was hacking away at it. Um, I'm going to put them on now and then get the wheel back on and get it back outside. sounds great really happy with it I've um, been for a few little spins around the block um, it sounds really nice got a nice little whistle from the turbo I am gonna call this video to a day here I know I said I was gonna do a bit about the uh, EGR bypass but the video is already um, longer than I thought it was gonna be so I won't um, drag it out too long I'll cut it short now and um, put that into another video thanks for watching um, stay tuned for some more again apologies for the delay on the content um just been just been dead busy with work whatever but um gonna have a few videos coming out in quick succession um just been tight basically i've been filming stuff but i've just not had time to to get it edited and get it um uploaded so i'm just getting around to doing that now um so yeah do a little video on the EGR valve um video about um i've got a sort of a build in the back so i'm i've done the bed in the back of the van so i'll do a video on that as well um, for my uh, for my little trip out so yeah tune in for that one um, please subscribe if you're watching and you want to see some more if you want to see what's coming up um, please like the videos if you like the videos please drop us a comment if there's anything you'd like to see if you've got any ideas um, anything I could do to improve it um, and yeah I'll, you know I'll take all that on board um, but yeah I'll, I'll see you on the next video I guess